<sighs> so recently, and by recently I mean the past three weeks, something like that, since I said I was starting the diet again, funnily enough, that just tends to be how things work on this channel. We tend to say something's gonna happen, and then boom, a massive roadblock gets in the way as to why we actually cannot achieve or fulfill said goal, right? But today, today we are tackling how and why we're gonna get past that goal and why we are dieting for the final time. Stick with me. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I have gone for the Chupa Chups. Well, this is actually called the Berry Bomb. Um, mine was nine pounds, and Ella's was 10 pounds. Watermelon sugar. So Ella has some apple watermelon and a Red Bull watermelon thing. I have some Arabina, Gordon's Pink Gin, some Chiroc, and this Chupa Chups which is, to be honest, the entire reason that I bought this one, this, this cam alone is why I bought this one. So, we are now gonna create our viral TikTok, because that's what's gonna happen, whoa, when any drops you. We're gonna get like 500,000 likes, just like they're posted. So there will be slightly less fancy drinks, and I mean slightly less, they're not gonna go altogether, they're not gonna disappear. I'm still gonna very much have a social life alongside my fitness and current kind of goals, you know? However, I am quite frankly bored of not actually being able to do what I say it is that I'm gonna do. I am bored of not dieting. And that might sound crazy to some people. You see, with my concussion, it stopped me looking a certain way. It stopped me looking the way that I actually liked to look, right? It set me back in my training, my everything in my life, right? We're kind of getting towards the closing end of that, I'm a touch wood and all that, you know. Then around about three weeks ago, I said I was gonna start dieting. The next day, bedridden. I felt awful. I had not felt that ill in years. Like we're talking back in school was the last time I actually felt that ill. So obviously that set me back somewhat. The trouble is once you can't really eat for a week, you can't keep any food in for a week, you can't keep anything down, you can't keep yourself hydrated. That is gonna massively affect your physique, for one, and your mental and physical state, right? You are not gonna have the, the glycogen stores from like a constant week of missing food. Alongside that, you've missed sleep. Not only that, you've got worse sleep from the sleep that you actually get. It's not exactly a good, high quality sleep, you know? But it's sleep nevertheless, but not enough of it. You get what I'm trying to say. Stir and flip, stir and flip, stir and flip. Absolutely perfect. Glass of OJ to top it off. And so for that reason, when you can't keep down, when you can't stomach, good stuff for you like oats, good stuff for you like salmon, good stuff for you like chicken, good stuff, the stuff that you would normally eat, right? To hit your macros and all that kind of stuff. When you can't stomach any of that, that is gonna massively, massively impact your training, right? So now, we can keep that down again. Option number two, op option? Obstacle number two, conquered. Hi, ha. Anyone else in the UK like this right now? Also, something else I've been wondering, if you have a setup like this, right, obviously this is splitting two things, two ports, whatever you wanna call these. Does this only use one plug's worth of electricity or are you using two because there is two or even three are you using one two three and it's just a space saver or does this save money as well random question literally never thought about that in my life but i figured i'll put that in 
because I want to know and someone's bound to know. Next on the updates, we have my foot. It's getting better, right? The thing is, I can't really wear shoes, and so I'm quite fortunate that I can work from here. Just watching some Brandon Harding as well, by the way. I'm quite fortunate that I can work with my feet up on the sofa on a laptop, right? Obviously, when I'm filming this, I have to be stood up. I don't necessarily even have to be stood up. I could do this as a as a commentary. I could do this as a, well, anything, you know? But I'm very fortunate to be able to work from home to the point where I can sit with my feet up and do my work so that I can let my foot recover. Because if I was in a an active job like let's say I went down the PE teaching route that I planned before this I'd be screwed or well, not right now because it's the summer holidays but then I would be injured for the whole summer holidays you, you, you see what I mean but we're getting there I'm still icing it I'm not taking any paracetamol or ibuprofen anymore um I exercises for my for my concussion um I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do an entire video on those but th those are the two kind of things that we mentioned in the last couple of videos that you guys may or may not be interested in if you're not I apologize for wasting your time. However, we must go on. <laughs> I think Ella's bored at work. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this fan off while I film this clip because you are straight up not gonna be able to hear me. Is that better? Let, let, me, let me reply. <laughs> I'm sensing judgment on some of your part and I'm not a fan of it, ladies and gentlemen. So, the Arnold Expo is just about six weeks away, right? I think it's six weeks today. I don't actually know. One, two, three, four, five. It's six weeks away. In six weeks, you cannot lose very much weight. Body fat. You can lose plenty of weight, but specifically body fat. Unless you starve yourself, which, which, which I'm not going to do. We have a long-term plan with this, right? Which we'll discuss even more in a future video. But I'm sweating with that fan off. Oh my God. Six weeks until the Arnold Expo. I don't want to be a fat mother hugger in the photos, in the videos. Obviously, I'm going to be vlogging every single day. I will be there for the entire weekend. That's the plan anyway. You guys know how I do things when it comes to expos. I go to the expo on a day, upload the video on the night. Expo on the day, video on the night. Expo on the day. Video on the night. I'm that expo guy, some would say, right? Some 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 people say that. We have the inside scoop on on some other expos, which again we will go into in a little in a in a video coming soon. There's a lot of stuff about body power that I have been told and obviously I was kind of on the inside. I was actually running their Instagram page at some point. So to a certain extent I feel like I I, I hold myself to a certain standard when it comes to Expo season, if you like. If it was May, it would be Body Power. Obviously, September is gonna be um, the Arnold's, and then a bunch of other events, which I will have something cool coming for you in the very near future about how you can find out about every single event going on, ever, that's fitness or bodybuilding or anything based, right? All in one place, there will be something that I can show you guys where you can go to so you don't ever miss out on a thing. Stay tuned for that coming very very soon but the plan is to go to the Arnold Expo all weekend obviously myself and the old man normally go myself and the old man have a ticket for the what's it called Q&A with Arnold Schwarzenegger he was supposed to come last year but he never turned up he had a poorly leg apparently but either way I think that's going to be on the Saturday so we will be there taking pictures taking videos making reels making TikToks because I'm on that right now even YouTube Shorts, I'm on it with YouTube Shorts. I'm just, just more short form content for myself and the brands that I currently work with, whether it's my protein, whether it's UFB, or whether, essentially my own stuff and the media business stuff. A lot of it is gonna be heavily focused on short form content because it's, it's in right now, you know? So anyway, I'm rambling. The plan is to go for the weekend and not look fat, right? So when my foot is better in a couple of days, because I, I think that there's much more range of motion in my foot again now. Um, and it sounds ridiculous, but I can't go on the bike. If you think about it, you're bringing your foot down like this. If I, like, round when you're pedaling. Imagine that's my foot on the bike. Just imagine being on the bike. Like, it's hard, right? And, and it hurts right now. Um, but I'm hoping that by, like, sort of Monday. So, start fresh on Monday. I hate it when people say that, but I feel like that's going to apply for me personally in terms of injuries and just how I'm feeling and all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's how it's gonna go, but we'll see. So basically, I don't wanna be fat when I go. It's as simple as that. I don't want to, I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna look awful or anything like that, but I'm not gonna look great if I go in this current state, you know? 
So things need to be addressed, stuff needs to be done. Um, and we actually have a reason, we have a purpose, we have a goal right now, which is what we've been searching for for a long, long time. We had the wedding, but to be honest, myself and Ella just kind of carried on as we were, because we really, it's not our wedding. Like we went to a wedding and it was lovely, but it wasn't our wedding to be in the photos. You, you know what I mean? So it was kind of like a bit of a naff goal. Whereas the Arnold Expo is a definitive date. It's definitive, it won't be the end date. I will keep going post Arnold show and I have something planned like a whole dieting series and new series coming very, very soon. Hopefully, again, probably next week. Um, but I have to find the time to edit the intro to the video, right? On the basis that I don't like doing story, I don't like doing new, 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 what's the word? New um, series and just being like, hey, new series. I like to have a full on explanation with the meaning behind what it is that I'm doing, what it is that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about in the series, what it is that I'm gonna be doing, what the purpose is, right? Everything that I've ever done on this channel has had a purpose. And I want the new series to be exactly the same. So hopefully, next week, I'm saying it, I'm putting it out there, but that's that. So we're gonna have a plan coming in the next video for you guys on exactly what it is that we're going to be doing. But for the next six weeks, minimum, we are on it. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed and thank you all so much for the support on the whole concussion thing. The last video has got over 10K views. TikTok has had over a million views in the past week. It's mental. It's really, really cool. So thank you all so much for your support. Even YouTube Shorts is popping off. Like it's a good time to be in the LSJ army. I appreciate you all. Together we will grow and I'll see you all in the next one.